one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1973 Ford F-250 in the Ranger XLT with the high boy package and there's a couple other options that I'm not too keen on knowing and everything I am a huge fan of these older Ford pickups like this uh, especially when it hits this year um, I think a 70 Nine is the last year. Uh, seven is the one I bought, was my first truck ever, uh, Ranger. Different drive line though. It had the full-time four-wheel drive in the front and it was a 150. Uh, but this is a beautiful truck, man. This thing will rip the bark right off a tree, buddy. Um, Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'm gonna go underneath, show you the underneath, show you the inside, show you everything about this truck. I'm going to get right underneath, right away, to where I can show you that, because, well, it's getting dark. Monsoon weather in California. Okay, underneath here and up in here is so clean. Motor pan and everything is just so clean. Stabilizer shop. It's got this stuff welded across, man. I don't know if that's been changed or not, the bottom of them bigger shot up you know man that's had that's had bigger leaves put in I think it's got all this welded direct up onto the frame and this is over the top yeah it's got some stuff added on it here let's say to say the least go Rhino and I don't know what exactly they put on it I know that pan encompasses the whole bottom of the pumpkin and everything look at that man Real straight axle stuff right here, buddy. This ain't no joke. This thing go anywhere. Um, has that front axle been replaced? I don't know. I know on newer trucks, the 250s are more independent. And the 350s are the ones with that straight axle. I don't want to say. I'm not sure. But that's cool stuff, man. I think it's had a lot of work done to it. I really do. I don't know. Maybe you can see that here. Pause it and what have you. It's got the divorced between the tranny and the transfer case and stuff. It's definitely the high boy. Man, and they've definitely done some them leafs. A little bit more just an added leaf on it, I think. That is some huge leaf springs. Now this thing's not all rusty or nothing. Um, still got factory undercoat and stuff all over the bottom. He's got tanks on both sides. Plus you got a tank behind the trunk. Behind the trunk? Behind the seat. So you got three tanks on it, I think. Look at that, man. That is some serious setup for off-road and stuff. And these are serious tanks. That's all there is to it. Now look at these tires. Titties in between the tread. Ooh, buddy. All-terrain TA BFGs. I don't know what this one under here is. It's a little bit more of a mutter style of some sort. I'm not sure, but it's a nice spare. Look at that cage around him thing. That's so bad. Man, these bumpers, mean. Okay, that's your underneath, your inside or outside and all that for once around. Now I can go down the sides and kind of show you any damage and such. Um, and then go from there. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, original California blue plate truck. One of the first years back towards here is when they were doing them. I'm gonna go down the side, show you that. Now it's been repainted at some point, I believe. And it did a great job. It's a very straight truck. And there's a spot or two. This is one of the worst spots. Water got a straight metal coming up. It's not all filler or nothing. As straight as can be though. Hard to really see much of a ding, but I'm sure there's something like that on it. A little bit faded on the tailgate more than the rest. One serious bumper. 
Little corrosionary pieces in here. Just slight in the seam there. A couple little chips. Now, as far as chips, there's not a lot of chips to talk about on this. Whether they're on a Harley Davidson patrol on the California highways or not. Chips! Uh, no old TV show references anymore, okay? Not in this video. Look at this. Real metal, baby. Clean as can be. And look at them leaves. I'm telling you. Somebody tell me something about them. I gotta have an ad leaf at least. I mean, but they look pretty big. And right here, the cab corner is where I start, but it's metal. It's metal. And that's that side. Beautiful shape. Warm 10,000 or 8,000 pound winch. Um, 10,000 pounds. Yes, Siri. And I do not have the controller for it anymore. It is gone. The winch works. And no controller. You know, I get so many things stolen out of these trucks. It's pathetic. It really is. Tow hooks. I think with this truck, you'd be using them tow... I didn't even think to look... I just knew there would be one over here. I think with this truck, you're going to end up pulling people out, not getting pulled out. Head, uh, fog lights or whatever are serious, and they work. Um, down the sides, I'll show you this side too. Just straight as can be. A little faded here, see that? Yeah, a little faded on the hood. Not a whole lot. Beautiful shave. Here, same thing on this side. That's metal crackage. And the same corrosion here. <clears throat> Pretty much the same four spots. And then, here is one place that I noticed on that little flange. Actually, and that piece comes off if you want it to. But it's got a little bit on it. And here is clean. A little bit of this color from fueling up, I'll bet. Um, ding! Hey, there's the first true ding I'd seen when I turned. Little spot right here. And it's kind of hazy. Well, not out. It's kind of hazy out, too. It's kind of hazy going on the sides. Um, he's got these on the back and the side. Man, this truck is set up to go. Dura liner. And he's got all this stuff welded in here. I don't know what he had over here. But he had something sliding rear window. Um, okay. Uh, thing ain't been registered since 05 here. Uh, well, that is your once around, your twice around. I'm gonna go around again. And I'm gonna show you the inside right now. Um, and then we're gonna do a separate video starting it up. And I got a new place here and it's a whole different way of doing things, I guess you'd say. Door panels are in great shape. And they're tight, but they're a little tighter because, like many people, he's popped screws through them. Actually, smart guy, screws with the ring, which holds these a lot better. Um, this floor mat seems to be like new almost. Honestly, I believe that there's 65,000 original miles on this truck. Um, it's a five digit odometer, so you it's federally exempt, and you can never tell for sure, but that's what I believe. Them all rot out the way they do. This is hanging low like the Sweet Chariot, just a teeny bit like it does. Um, seat has a cover, higher falutin cover, but it's still got a somewhat of a cover. And you can see the original ones, just a little tore up place, but it's in good shape. It's still pliable and all. Um, tank behind the seat's all good. Could be dusted out a little bit. We didn't do that all that much. Flip these things around and put it on any tank you want, buddy. Um, dash cap pad is pretty nice up here. It's been dyed. It used to be tan, you can tell. Um, really clean. And let's go around the other side. Show you that. And then I get some more pictures. And then I'll kind of clip in some more here. It's such a sweet truck. I know I've said that it quite a few times, but I really like the truck, okay? Just a teeny bit in that drip rail up there. Ranger XLT, and what a special package that is. You don't see that every day. This mat has hardly been stepped on. 
Matt, you hear that? See, he better catch that. He's supposed to be looking at these videos. We'll see. He'll catch it. He'll catch it. I know he will. There'll be a little annotation right here that says, hey now, or something like that. Watch. I got faith in you now, dude. Don't let me down. I didn't put myself out there. Matt works here, by the way, if you're just watching this video and you think, what's this guy talking about? If you're thinking that, make sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel. I put all kinds of cars on there, man. Um, do, do, um, gas gauges for the sides, plus I think the one in the dash works for the rear of the seat. <laughs> Locking as well. This thing's serious. There's a couple splits in this. And the same thing. It's tight, but it's got a few screws through it. He took care of that problem forever. These door paddles ain't rattling. Well, one owner car guy. Titties in between the tires. Got to do a couple pictures here and get this thing driven for you. So that's the deal. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'll be right back to show you more. Well, one owner car guy, and I'm back with you. I'm walking around it again. That's all there is to it. It's just beautiful. I love this truck. I love Ford trucks like this. Um, they are bad to the bone. And you can see I showed you around that drip rail. I want to show you it comes right to the front. And just got under the paint, man. And it's rusty now a little bit right there. It's not dripping all inside, but it is them areas of corrosion that I showed you. Nice truck. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And we're going to start her up and head it back inside. Now on this truck, um, man, it needs a little bit of work on the engine. And I didn't know what to do to it as far as to start plugging stuff in or to not plugging stuff in because um, somebody might change it. Um, I believe there's only 65,000 on it. Now it ain't been registered in eight years. Um, we prime this thing up and got this thing started and it runs great. A little bit of upper engine noise. And such. Look, I'm not aware on the pedals at all. I'm gonna go ahead and run it inside. It's loud. Yeah, it sounds like a diesel. It's really not. Here's that for you. Oh, and she died on me. I don't think the oil pump is pumping enough. And I really don't like... Um, running it all that much. I'm gonna run it enough to get back into my house though. I'll tell you that much right now. I've gotta run it at least that much. Okay, Trent's gonna have to come out here. It ain't looked like it's been smoked in or nothing. Should have enough volts, you know? It seems like after you run it, it does that. I mean, like you see, it just started up just fine, but I'm not wanting to give it a lot of juice or anything. You think it's just loose? Yeah. Yes, and turn loose. Both of them are hand turned loose. Okay, we're gonna wait on this and do it a different way. That's all there is to it. Be right back. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I'm back at you. And I figured, you know what? I'm disclosing an issue with it. I'm disclosing that problem. And I don't want to crank on it too much. I babied it up here, man. Just put, 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 put. And I don't want to even crank on it much more. Um, I think it needs an oil pump. It may need some kind of 
bearings or something in the main bearings or a cam bearing or just got a little bit of noise that I don't like but it could just be it ain't pumping enough oil up there um, which is highly likely um, but who knows what somebody's gonna do with this number one I don't want to injure the motor I'd like to keep it just as nice and clean and good as it can be and so that would be an issue and other than that who knows what somebody's gonna do with this thing um, I got people that want to keep the factory stuff want to keep what's in it and I got people that like to throw a... Did I hear power stroke? Yeah, man, that'd be cool. Throw a power stroke in here. And this one's got all the options. It's got power steering. Um, the only thing it got there is the... They ain't got all the options. I don't know every option. It's got the um, um, high boy kit. Um, you name it. Um, so, with all that in mind, this is your last walk around of it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. One Owner Car Guy. And you can check out my videos and pictures and all that good stuff. Can't think of anything else to tell you on it. I'm just going down. It's just so nice. It's had a lot of work done to it. And I know I've shown you all this. It's just a different light now. And I like showing things in a different light. In fact, it's almost a different too dark now. Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, 1973 Ford F250 Ranger XLT High Boy. It's a rare truck, and getting very rare to find them in this kind of shape. All it needs to be is hopped in and driven by you for serious. Oneownercarguy.com, import, export, I'll ship this truck to any port in the world. Let me know, I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, hope I, I hope I said everything. I think I did. We'll talk to you. Thanks for watching.